Welcome. Yeah, so in this video, I'm going to show you a third method by which you can do uh, this integral. And yes, this third method involves the Laplace transform, but it's not the same as the previous two methods. Yeah. Okay, cool. Now, in videos on Laplace transforms, I show you that the Laplace transform for f of t over t is equal to this here, the integral from s to infinity of capital F of u du, where capital F of u is the Laplace transform of um, f of t, just f of t. The Laplace transform of f of t is capital F of u. Okay, so let's write that down. Um, so capital F of u is the Laplace transform for f of t. So here, we would like sine t to be um, f of t, and therefore we need to know the Laplace transform for sine t. Okay, and again, on my videos on Laplace transforms, I show you how to do the Laplace transform for sine t, and it's equal to 1 over 1 plus u squared. Okay, and so then, with this handy, we can now uh, look at the Laplace transform for sine t over t. So the Laplace transform for sine t over t is going to have to be, well, this right-hand side. And so that's going to be the integral from uh, s to infinity of what capital F of u du, which is 1 over 1 plus uh, u squared du in this case, right? Okay, now, uh, if we continue on uh, this integral here, we know that it's tan inverse evaluated from s to infinity, right? So, uh, like that. And if we use proper grammar on evaluating infinity, so we don't say plug in infinity, we can write lim is a goes to infinity of tan inverse of a minus tan inverse of s. This here is going to be equal to f of s, because it's a function of s, right? And um, also, uh, the limit part, right, it is a function of s, so we have to call it capital F of s. But uh, on this limit part, we know that the limit is a goes to infinity of tan inverse of a is pi over 2, so we'll have that capital F of s is uh, pi over 2 minus tan inverse of s. Yeah? Okay, cool. Now, we also know that capital F of s which is the Laplace transform for sine t over t, by definition, is equal to uh, the integral from 0 to infinity of e to the minus st times uh, sine t over t dt. Now, let's look at capital F of 0, right, and this uh, definition of the Laplace transform for sine t over t. Let's look at capital F of 0. Capital F of 0, right, would mean our integral here. <laughs> Uh, because uh, capital F of 0 means make S 0. So if we make S 0 here, we get e to the 0, which is 1. So we'd get integral from 0 to infinity of sine t over t dt, which is the integral we're trying to solve. So all we have left to do is figure out what capital F of 0 is. And again, I here is the integral that we were trying to solve from the get-go. As I said, um, when we look at F of 0, this becomes e to the 0, which is 1, right? Okay. All right, cool. So I is, as we said, capital F of 0. And we know that F of S is, on the one hand, this here. But it's also this here. So we could just plug in 0 there, meaning plug in 0 there. And so we see that capital F of 0, the solution to our integral, is equal to pi over 2, pi over 2, minus tan inverse of 0, which is pi over 2. Yeah? Cool. All right. I hope you enjoyed this. And keep watching. Take care.